It's early on a Saturday morning. It's about 15 to 20 degrees out. The KC Combo's rolling at about 250 with a 14 pound brisket. This is gonna be good. All righty, listen, as we get rolling here, let me remind you, I ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel, ringing that bell so you get notified uh, for all my uh, cooks, including some uh, Pit Boss and the Blackstone and uh, maybe a little Weber sprinkled in, right? Now listen, I'm not going to show you the uh, full uh, breakdown, the full cleaning process of this brisket. There are many channels that do that and do it uh, far better than I do. I'll leave some uh, links up above, maybe a link or two down below. And listen, if you uh, want to really get into the details of cleaning and breaking down a brisket, you check those channels out, right? All right, now listen, I'm going with a, a very a basic rub for this brisket, which is a salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, and a little black magic, right? And we're gonna sprinkle in a little Weber's roasted garlic. I like that stuff, so I'm gonna be using uh, some nice coarse stuff. and we are ready to rock. It is about 5 a.m. And listen, this pit boss is a new grill to me. I don't know all its hot spots yet. It's cool zones. So you're gonna see a lot of wires going in this sucker. I got my, uh, I got my Weber thermometer, my reader, and I'll be using the uh, pit bosses and I'll be uh, looking for those hot spots, right? Until I learn the grill, that's just the way it is. I am running the pit at a 250 and I'll run it right up to the stall which is approximately 170 degrees and that could take about four five six hours right this is a, a 14 pound brisket to start probably a 13 or 12 and a half going on I will hit the stall and I will wrap it right. I'll use a, uh, I'll use a very basic apple juice spritzer every two, three hours or so as needed. And I got a little water pan in the back, right? And there's our uh, three hour spritz. And look at this time you want to check for, uh, like I said, you want to check for hot spots in your grill. And we are looking pretty good. All right, and here we are at the uh, five hour mark, the five hour mark. Just give it a little spritz down. Check that, uh, check that rub to see how it's setting. Again, make sure there is no burn marks on the meat. If there is, you'll want to uh, rotate it, right? And we are looking pretty good. Alrighty, at this point, look, we're about six hours in. We are at the stall. see a little uh, little burning towards the uh, towards the thermometer there towards on that end right but we'll get this off and we'll get this wrapped up and we'll get it back on the grill and I'm wrapping it in butcher paper I got a uh, two uh, sheets I'll use a little uh, Worcestershire sauce a little Worcestershire sauce and also I got this a uh, teriyaki sauce I'll throw a little of that in there goes in the fat pretty nice gives it a nice flavor oh, yeah, that looks pretty good there just 
some little sprinkles. This gives the uh, meat a nice steam inside the uh, butcher paper, right? Here's a little teriyaki on top of that. We'll get this bad boy wrapped up, put back on the grill. We're gonna keep the grill at 250. Maybe we'll bump it up to three towards the end. But we want to take it over the 200 of Fahrenheit mark on the internal temperature, right? Toothpick tender, however long that takes. And I'm also going to remove the water pan this time. We'll get our probes back in. And look at this time what I want to do is uh, give a quick uh, thanks to uh, Kevin from Comparison Cooking. He stopped in with his family and we had a, a good old time talking YouTube. A lot of fun. Uh, thanks guys. And just having a little uh, brisket fun, right? Of course. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh. There you go. And trust me, uh, Molly, my black lab, is uh, somewhere very close, right? Now listen back to the cook. And as you can see, we are uh, 12 hours of total cooking time. I will uh, probe it with my uh, trusty uh, Thermo Pro. And as you can see, we are 202, 203. And we are ready to rock and roll. Get this off. I'll wrap it in a towel. Put it in the oven for approximately two hours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, there you go. A lot of people use a cooler. Use anything you got handy, no big deal. Two hours I find is sufficient, but you can go three, four, and that sucker will stay uh, warm as long as you got it insulated somewhere pretty good. So we got a two hour rest. I am going to get this a puppy unwrapped and we're gonna take a look. It's always an exciting uh, time when you do a brisket because uh, you put a lot of work into it, right? You, uh, you usually get a pretty good payload from it. There's so much you can do with uh, brisket. And at this point, I'll remind you of Kevin, the comparison cooking. He has a uh, six part, I believe it's six parts, brisket series going. I'll leave a link up top for his uh, channel and also a link down below. That's uh, you get a lot of good information in there, so you definitely want to check that out. Alright, so we want to uh, cut this against the grain, of course. And of course, we got a, uh, got a nice color on that brisket. That is nothing but flavor. Pull apart, of course. Man. That fat cap is looking uh, mighty fine at about a quarter inches thick. Not the uh, most moist one I've ever cooked, but uh, hell, not that bad, I'll tell you that. All right, so listen, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this sucker live in for a taste test. Also, we'll wrap this up. All righty, here we go. Total cooking time, 12 hours with a two hour rest, 14 hours, and the brisket is looking pretty good. First off, I'd like to thank Kevin and his family from Comparison Cooking. I got some links to his channel. You check his channel. He stopped over with his family. Great guy, great family. Thanks, Kevin, and we'll see you nice soon. He's pinned out, if we can yeah. say it. Nice and moist, good uh, fat cap is on there. And of course, we got a, uh, everybody likes to seem to pull these apart, right? So we got a 
And we got a nice bend, right? And uh, here we go. Boy, I'll tell you what, I don't cook many briskets, but every time I do, I'm pretty floored with the flavor. Uh, it's well worth the 12, 14 hours uh, that it takes to uh, prepare and cook these things. Listen, if you like this uh, Pit Boss video, I'm going to stick a couple more over here. And uh, you check those out. Until next time, we'll see you soon.